What's up, guys? This is Webby, back again for your top five Hell in a Cell matches of all time. This is by far one of WWE's greatest concepts and one of the biggest blow-off matches WWE has ever created. Rivalries have ended inside this structure. Some of the greatest rivalries have. Just look at Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker in 2007. Triple H versus The Undertaker. Mankind versus The Undertaker. Cactus Jack versus Triple H. All these great rivalries. Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. Legacy versus DX. The Big Show and the McMahons versus DX. All these great rivalries and so much more has ended inside Hell in a Cell. Some of them were bloody pulps. Absolute wreckage and carnage inside the cell happened. And here are my top five greatest matches. Number five, Hell in a Cell, 1997, In Your House, Bad Blood. Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker, absolutely one of the greatest contests in the history of the WWE. Shawn Michaels, a beaten and battered and bloody pulp. At the hands of the Undertaker. Ran into the Hell in a Cell cage about half a dozen, 3,000 times. Blood rushing down his face, all over his hair, just drenched in blood. He got knocked off the cell as he was dangling off, dangling off of it. Absolutely carnage all over it. You have to look at this entire history of this matchup too because he was not only having a feud with Shawn Michaels at the time but Paul Bear as well the Undertaker was having a rivalry with. Kane made his debut and cost the Undertaker the match and Shawn Michaels picked up the victory. A great matchup and set the bar to what we would see Later on in future Hell in a Cell matches. Number four. Another great Hell in a Cell contest was SummerSlam 2008 Hell in a Cell. Absolutely an epic contest between Edge versus The Undertaker. This contest dated really all the way back the 2007, when The Undertaker lost his WWE Heavyweight Championship when Edge cashed in the Money in the Bank contract. From there, Undertaker tried to get the title back from Batista, inside Hell in a Cell, Edge... Once again costing the match because he was dressed up as a cameraman. All this led up to a great contest at WrestleMania 24 where Undertaker won the title. From there, Edge won the championship. At the same time, Edge was having some BS relationship with Vicky Guerrero. Vicky Guerrero ended up catching on tape of Edge cheating on her or something like that, which led to Undertaker getting rehired because at the same time, he got suspended and the match was set for hell in a cell in which the Undertaker picked up the victory and sent Edge on a ride straight to hell because at the end of the match, Edge got a choke slam off the ladder through the mat and flames 
went straight up in the air. Great concept, great match, and great story behind this matchup. Number three, No Way Out 2000. Mick Foley slash Cactus Jack versus Triple H. Absolutely great contest. It was career versus WWE championship. As we know, Cactus Jack's career ended that night because Cactus Jack lost. He fell through the cage. Absolutely awesome. He absolutely did nail Triple H with a barbed wire bat wrapped on fire. That was great. That was awesome. They had a huge history dating back to the Royal Rumble when they battled for the WWE Championship. Triple H did pick up the victory there as well. But through their promos and everything, it was a great build up to that matchup. And it was one for the history books. Number two. Number two. Absolutely one for the ages was Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker 2015. That was a great concept. That was a great match and a great blow off match. Especially since we don't see blood and red and color that often in the WWE anymore. And The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar just threw it all out the window. And they just did whatever they wanted to. Match just started and we saw blood. That to me shows you what these two superstars know how to get it done and just take things into their own hands. Absolutely. And that was a great blow-off match for that rivalry. Number one. King of the Ring 1998. Mankind versus The Undertaker. The Undertaker throwing Mankind off the hell in a cell. Absolutely epic. He went through the cage as well. He got choke slammed on thumbtacks. He got tombstone on thumbtacks. He had a tooth stuck up his nose. There was blood coming out of his mouth. Mankind was an absolute carnage, an absolute wreck by the end of this contest. The only thing I can say is, Mick Foley and The Undertaker during this matchup set the bar. If Shawn Michaels and Triple and The Undertaker then set the bar, Mick Foley took that bar and did it ten times higher. Because that contest went from here to here as far as how high the bar was raised. A great contest. Never seen one like that since. And we'll never see another one like that again. The question is. Will we see history made this Sunday at Hell in a Cell? Will Sasha Banks become. Retain. The Women's Championship. Will Charlotte once again become the champion? Will Roman Reigns retain his championship or will Rusev become the champ? Or who cares? And will Kevin Owens retain his championship or will Seth Rollins once again become the champ? We will all find out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until I see you again, this is Webby and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.